So hello everybody, today we take a look at Prowl from the Transformers Titanium line. And just like the Optimus Prime that I shown you before, this one, it is inspired by its appearance on the World Within comic book. Now, <coughs> it is a di titanium figure which means that most of its body is made out of die cast metal that makes the figure very heavy but also proven to give some issues as far as clearances and tolerances go. The titanium line, by the way, was made by Hasbro, which already know, we already know, in collaboration with the Galoob brand under the Micro Machines label. So this technically, I didn't expect that, is a Micro Machine figure. Anyway, figure itself, it's standing here on top of its own stand, which is the only accessory we get. It is always the same stand. Let's try to focus a little bit better, like so. It is the same stand you get with Optimus Prime and other figures, just with a different sticker. That stand, once again, looks nice. It's made out of plastic. It looks nice, but doesn't have any foot pads. So the figure that has smooth feet and very heavy <coughs> will slide and fall over on top of that thing. It's a nice looking stand but not that useful. <coughs> the figure itself I've said is mostly made out of die cast which means that basically all this middle section here top to bottom is die cast metal. We also noticed that we don't have any landing gears or wheels or whatever underneath so the figure will just lay there on the floor and does nothing at all. Aside from that it is a transformer so we'll try to transform it. The first thing we do is flip out those tiny beads that will be the robot's toes. Then we unpack the side engines from the main body of the vehicle. We now take the robot and pull it all the way so that it will reveal that gap here and the upper portion of the robot's legs. We can now rotate this second half of the body and bend the figure 90 degrees. We now push the lower portion forward and lock it into position split the legs and we have the lower body of the robot done. Now for the arms we take those side portions here and pull them out like so. They will now rotate forward and snap into position. Now all, almost all the joints and <coughs> moving parts of this thing have ratchets trying to hold the weight of the die cast metal bits. The design and works out a little bit better on this figure than it does on Prime but it still has some flaws. Anyway, rotate this portion of the arm 180 degrees, pull the arm down and we have one part of the figure done. Do the same on the other side. So pull this out like so, rotate the shoulder into position, snap it into position. Now it will squeak but okay. Rotate the arm, pull it down and we have the arms. Collapse the figure's chest like so, this is the best part of the transformation and pull out the figure's head, which is a very basic and classic looking prowl head. We're almost done. We take those engine parts here, bend those arms there and peg the wings on the back of the figure, like so. Rotate these engines to form missile pods 
and I would say this is your prowl. Now the figure works a little bit better than Prime's than Optimus Prime did. Here they are together, two buddies. But still it's not great. We have also a more possible action figure, which again is a nice effort, and most of the joints have ratchets, but still they don't work that great. For instance, you can see that <coughs> my figure is leaning on one side, and that's because the weight of the figure is not entirely held up by the joint in the legs inside here. Aside from that, I might say I had these figures in a nice deal and I like them, they're not that bad, they're fun to handle from time to time, but still not the best part of your collection. I think there's not much more to say about it and uh, good night.